Welcome to the Solid Commerce System Demo. Solid Commerce is an online software solution that was designed from the ground up to help online retailers sell on multiple marketplaces with easy to use tools and features, such as centralized inventory, bulk listing, bulk revisions, scheduling and automated listing, automated repricing, advanced order management, advanced vendor management system, and shipping. We currently integrate with the following marketplaces and online stores Amazon.com, Amazon FBA, eBay.com, Buy.com, Overstock.com, Half.com, Volusion, 3D Cart, and Magento. We also support the following shipping providers UPS, FedEx, USPS, and DHL via Indicia Dazzle. This demo will cover the following functionality and tools. Inventory and product management, scheduling and automated listing, automated repricing, order management and fulfillment. Shipping will be covered in a separate demo. Let's start by clicking on the Inventory Manager link. This section of the site is divided into three main areas warehouses, vendors, and marketplaces. It's very easy to find an item in our system. You can search by product name, SKU, UPC, listing ID, and as you can see, several more. You can also filter the results by searching for specific custom attributes, listing status, marketplace, cost, quantity, and much more. I'll expand the warehouses tree and click on more search options. Next, I will enter stock quantity of one or more and hit the search button. Now we can view all the items in this warehouse that are in stock. Let's look at some details about the products. We can see the product image, the warehouse ID, UPC, SKU, cost, and current quantity. If I click on this clock icon, we will also be able to view the quantity history. Here it shows us the storage location. Please note that this can be any number or letter that you want. For example, aisle 17, shelf B. This is where we can see the product condition, which is useful if I'm selling used and refurbished products. We also made it super easy to add new listings to a marketplace. All that you need to do is to select the items that you want to sell and click on the Add to Market list. Then select the marketplace, market list name, the listing template which you want to use, and a listing rule to control this listing. Now all that you need to do is click on Add Products and the products are ready to be listed. The next area on this page is the Vendor section. As you can see, this section is similar to the Warehouses section, however it allows you to separately manage products that are shipped from your vendors and are not located in your own warehouse. One of the best features of the Vendor Management System is that it can be connected directly to your vendor's inventory feed via FTP. This will ensure that your quantities and costs will automatically update when your vendor updates their inventory file. Next. Let's expand the Marketplaces list. Here you can see a list of all the marketplaces that you have set up in your account. Let's expand the Amazon Seller Central section and click on one of the lists to search for all the items in this list. As you can see, this view is consistent with the Warehouse view, but also allows you to view all the Amazon Marketplace-specific fields. For example, from here you can see if a product is online or offline, which pricing rules is applied to an item, the sale price, the last price set for an item, and much more. You can add or remove fields to view by using the column setup here. Another powerful feature of the platform is your ability to customize your listing quantity per marketplace. For example, this product shows LQ, which stands for Listing Quantity. This means that it will list all available quantity that you have in your warehouse to Amazon. However, you could also set the listing quantity formula to LQ-2, for example. This will list the item with your current quantity minus 2. So if you have 10 in stock, it will list with quantity of 8 to Amazon.com. This feature is available on all marketplaces and can be uniquely set to a different value on each marketplace. Just like the warehouses section, it is very easy to find items in the marketplaces sections as well. This is how easy it is to search for items with stock quantity of one or more and that are currently listed online with cost between $1 to $20. From this here, you have full control over your listing.
You can open and close listings, stop and start automation, and update live listing. Quantity and sale prices will automatically update on the marketplaces. There is no manual work required. Now let's look at the eBay list. As you can see, it is similar to the Amazon list, and the main differences are the fields available to view. All the fields here are eBay related. As on Amazon, you can update quantities, prices, close listings, and open listings all from the screen. This is pretty much the same for the rest of the marketplaces sections. Next, let's briefly look at the Amazon pricing rules. These rules allow you to automatically compete on the marketplaces according to your unique business needs. From the marketplaces menu, I will select option Amazon pricing rules. Here you can set by how much to beat other sellers. For example, you can establish a minimum price floor, for example, 20% over your cost. You can beat the lowest offer by 10 cents. You can raise your sell price by 100% if there are no other sellers for the listing. You can select to include Amazon fees as part of the profit margin. As you can see, there are more advanced options that I will not cover as part of this presentation. Next, let's look at the eBay listing rules. From the Marketplaces menu, I will select the eBay listing rules option and will add a rule. Here, you can schedule listings by specific day and time. For example, list on 9 a.m. on a certain day every week. You can set up when to start and stop the listing. For example, close listing when inventory is below 3. You can also start listing when inventory is above 0 or choose not to list a product if it was not sold for four times. Now that we have covered the inventory, listings, and some business rules, let's look at the order manager. Solid Commerce pulls orders from all the marketplaces every 15 minutes. As is the inventory section, you can customize this view and the available fields. We can see the order date and time, total amount, buyer name, ship method, order ID, and marketplace name. You can also create and assign custom statuses to orders. Out of stock is an example. You can also print pick lists and packing slips directly from this page. The search capability on this page is very powerful. For example, you can search by buyer name, email, buyer zip code, SKU, UPC, and as you can see, much more. You can also filter orders by marketplace name, order date range, warehouse, products attribute, and more. We will cover the shipping process in a different demo, but I will mention that as soon as an order is shipped using Solid Commerce, we will automatically send the tracking number and shipment notification to the marketplace. That concludes this system demo. Thank you for your time and interest in Solid Commerce.